Hey there, Corporate Misfits. Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business, sharing their expertise through e-learning, and also creating automation through funnels and things that help you to get your hands off the keyboard so that you can do what you enjoy. Now, before we dive into today's topic, I have an amazing free workshop for you. It's called How to Create Absolutely Beautiful Graphic Designs for your online course without having to hire a expensive graphic designer or spend countless hours doing it. So I want to walk you through exactly how you can create designs in minutes, whether it's worksheets, webinar slides, or things along those lines that you might need for your online course or coaching business. I want you to be able to quickly be able to make those so that you're not spending all day doing it. Okay, now if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of our upcoming videos. Okay, so today's topic is actually a game changer for me because I am one person who has probably not one, probably there's probably many, there's probably several people, but I have been trying to figure out how to create clickable PDFs without having to use some other platforms. And I wanted to be able to do it quickly and easily without having to download my design, jump onto another platform, create a clickable opportunity, and then provide it to my students and audience um, within my courses or my membership or coaching programs. So, Canva now allows you to be able to create clickable PDFs so that your audience, if they need to click on something, whether you need them to go to a specific page or download something, all of that good stuff, you are now able to create clickable PDFs. So I wanna show you exactly how you can make it clickable and how you can get started with it in no time. Okay, let's get started with creating your clickable workbook or worksheet, whichever one you're looking to move forward with. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to grab a template to get started with. I'm going to create a workbook, which allows me to have some call to actions in there. So I'm gonna grab a, actually I'm gonna do a pricing guide. Okay, so we're gonna grab this pricing guide. And what I'm gonna do now is Maybe I want to have this be clickable in my actual PDF when I send it out to clients. Um, maybe I want to include some things that are clickable where someone can say, let's work together. Now, where do they go? Do they go to a URL? Do they go to an email? Where do you want them to go? And let's look at some other stuff. Again, let's work together. That's another option. That's a call to action. Let's work together. Cool. So we have some, some, some call to actions to work with, schedule a call, learn more. Okay. So here's what we're going to do to make this clickable. What we need to do is we need to click on either the overall, um, rectangle or the button per se, we're going to click on that element. Now, in order for us to make it clickable in Canva, we're going to go to where it says link. It's kind of this little area right here next to, next to the unlock button, we're going to click on link. Once we click on link, we can then, I'm just going to plug in my URL right now. So I'm going to put in Brittany Darrington.com. Okay. So now the link is added to this overall area. So if someone were to come into this area and click on it, it would go to my website. So if I wanted to do that also for these icons, maybe I want it to go to my website or my email, email or something along those lines. I can also click on whatever it is I'm looking to add a link to and go to the link button and then plug in my website or plug in my email. Now I'm also gonna go down here, let's scroll down. So let's work together. You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go to the overall box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just grab a page from my website where you can be able to see, let's grab a contact page. You can see what you can do for your own pages if you needed to link things. Now, again, this is great if you're looking to link maybe a tutorial video, or maybe you're looking to link, um, you know, a website or social media or something along those lines and your worksheets. This is a really great way for you to not have to send individual links. Instead, you can encourage your audience to, to just click right there. Let's work together. And you don't have to worry about that. 
So let's go ahead now and take a preview. So let's preview this. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this. As you can see, when I hover over the website, it now has a kind of a hand. That means that there's some sort of link there. Okay, now when I click on that, it goes straight to my contact page, as you can see. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and I recommend that you do this. So when I go back here, um, I had to kind of hover over the box. And when I click on let's work together, it doesn't show the actual um, hand. So what you can do to make sure that if someone taps on the box or on the actual words, you wanna click on that element and also change it as well. So go ahead and add in whatever your URL link is that you've included on your box. So that then if someone were to click this individually, that they're going somewhere. So where are they going? Um, make it the same as whatever your call to action box is. So once you have that, you're good to go. You can then download your, your PDF, whether it's a worksheet or if it's some sort of pricing guide, it's a clickable PDF now. And so now what we're gonna do is go to share. And in order for us to make sure that you have, since you do have links in there, you'll even get a little notification from Canva. You'll want to make sure that you are downloading this as a PDF. So it has to be PDF standard or print in order for those clickable links to properly work. So if you do a JPEG or PNG, it's not going to work. Just FYI, you need to keep it in PDF standard or PDF print. And there you have it. Now you can create clickable actual worksheets or PDFs, and you can do that all within Canva without having to utilize some of the other platforms out there that might be a little bit more timely. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Also, make sure you leave a comment letting me know how you utilize Canva in your business. And also don't forget to check out our free workshop, how to create beautiful graphic designs for your online course business without having to spend a fortune or countless hours trying to come up with your design. You can find that below. Okay, I'll see you next time.